Now I'd like to call the October 27th, 2020 Longmont City Council regular session to order. Agenda revision, submission of documents, and motions to direct the city manager to add agenda items to future uh, agendas. Is this Friday at three o'clock? We you all so graciously agreed to attend the Northern Arapaho uh, meeting between us sister cities and the Northern Arapaho, Arapaho elected leadership. As of today, um, Governor Polis stated that we can have no more than 10. Me and Mayor Pro Tem, the four uh, business council representatives, Janice Redman, who's the sister city's chair, and Harold, David Bell, and Carmen Rodriguez. We will make video access available. City manager's report, grid interactive efficiency buildings demonstration project. Uh, my name is Tim Ellis. I'm the renewable energy strategy manager of for the Energy Strategies and Solutions Group at LPC. So here's a slide you might have seen before. Uh, at LPC, we use this to indicate how a project supports all the various components of our integrated electric resource system. And move on to the COVID-19 update. Yeah, and I have Rachel Art from the Boulder County Health. She's gonna join us. Um... All right, good evening and thanks um, Harold and Council for having me back again to discuss everyone's favorite subject, COVID-19. Um, tonight, I'm giving the October 27th update. Unfortunately, some, some news that I was foreshadowing at the last council meeting, uh, rates are continuing to increase. Um, our positivity rate has increased about 0.7 um, over the last week. Just wanted to share some uh, good news that our, our hospitalizations um, in Boulder County have been steady over the last 11 days. All right, I'm calling in favor of the Bond Farm co-housing uh, community proposal. I'm calling to weigh in about the um, smart metering uh, issues, which are before the city. This, this is part two of my public comments from last week's meeting, where I shared my canary in the coal mine story of becoming electrosensitive. I am a member of Bond Farm, and I wanted to call in support of that. I think it's a very progressive, great idea for Longmont and a super use of that particular property. And an RV, and I have a uh, comment here. RV ownership has grown from 7.9 million in 2005 to over 9 million today. 1 million Americans live in RVs full time. I'm here tonight as board chair for Sustainable Resilient Longmont. And um, just wanted to make sure the council knows, you know, we've been working on a renewable energy campaign since 2017. Almost four years, a small group of us got together to talk about renewable energy. We looked at the Sierra Club program for 100, uh, our Ready for 100 commitments, and how could we build this type of programs as a grassroots community effort in Longmont? I'm calling in support of the Bond Farm Community Project. I'm one of the invested members in the Bond Farm and very uh, much grateful for the way that City of Longmont has worked in cooperation and making sure that the bond farm really follows through with- uh, I'm calling about the proposed RV ordinance. The people who are living in RVs really haven't been involved. You know, the city hasn't made the effort to involve these people. I'm calling to ask council to ask with care and deliberation and to stand up for equal protection under the law. Tonight is the first reading of an ordinance which seeks to essentially criminalize, criminalize living in an RV. I was uh, attended the study session last week on the smart meter issue. I have a few comments and observations on that. And again about um, people with disabilities and I'm calling it disability awareness because um, it's important for the general public to know to be aware of people with disabilities. Uh, that concludes first call public invited to be heard. Let's move on to the consent agenda. Don, can you read that for us? So item 9A is ordinance 2020-51, a bill for an ordinance making additional appropriations for expenses and liabilities of the city of Longmont for the fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2020. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for November 10th, 2020. 9B is Ordinance 2020-52, a bill for an ordinance adopting the budget for the City of Longmont for the year 2021. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for November 10th, 2020. 9C is Ordinance 2020-53, a 
a bill for an ordinance making additional making appropriations for the expenses and liabilities of the city of Longmont for the fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2021. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for November 10th, 2020. 9D is ordinance 2020-54, a bill for an ordinance amending section 3.04.885 of the Longmont Municipal Code, adopting an amendment to the employee contribution requirement of the City of Longmont General Employees Retirement Plan. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for November 10th, 2020. 9E is Ordinance 2020-55, a bill for an ordinance authorizing a farmland lease agreement between the City of Longmont and Joseph M. Docheff on the French property. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for November 10th, 2020. 9F is Ordinance 2020-56, a bill for an ordinance conditionally approving the vacation of right-of-way within the villas at Ute Creek Subdivision, generally located north of 17th Avenue and west of Pay Street. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for November 10th, 2020. 9G is Ordinance 2020-57, a bill for an ordinance amending Chapter 11 of the Longmont Municipal Code on vehicles abandoned, kept on public property, or junked. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for November 10, 2020. 9H is Ordinance 2020-58, a bill for an administrative ordinance approving the purchase option agreement to convey a parcel of city-owned land located at 2000 Sunset Way to Sunset Element, LLC. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for November 10, 2020. 9J is Resolution 2020-106, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental agreement between the city and Colorado State University for receiving loaned material for an upcoming museum exhibit. 9K is Resolution 2020-107, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the application for change of water rights and confirming the city's conditional appropriation of water rights in connection with a change of shares in the bonus ditch company. 9L is Resolution 2020-108, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental agreement between the City of Longmont and the United States Geological Survey to provide stream flow gauges on the Boulder, Left Hand, and St. Frank Creeks. 9M is Resolution 2020-109, a resolution of the Longmont City Council supporting the grant application to the Department of Local Affairs to reduce the carbon footprint of Longmont's wastewater treatment plant. And 9N is Approve One Capital Improvement Program Amendment like to pull item A and item G for discussion. Okay, I move that we uh, move the consent agenda minus items A and G. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, aye. all opposed say nay. All right, the consent agenda is accepted and passed unanimously. All right, moving on to ordinances on second reading and public hearings on any matter. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start with 10A. Ordinance 2020-44, Bill for an ordinance making additional appropriations for the expenses and liabilities of the City of Longmont for the fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2020. I will move Ordinance 2020-44. Do I have a second? Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed aye. say nay. All right. The motion passes unanimously. 10B, Ordinance 2020-45, a bill for an ordinance fixing and levying taxes upon the real and personal property within the City of Longmont for the year 2020 to pay budgeted city expenses for the 2021 fiscal year. I uh, move Ordinance 2020-45. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, the motion passes unanimously. Item 10C, Ordinance 2020-46, a bill for an ordinance fixing and levying tax upon the real and personal property with the Longmont Downtown Development District for the year 2020 to pay budgeted expenses to the Longmont Downtown Development Authority for the 2021 fiscal year. We are fixing, not raising taxes. Say, Council Mayor Martin, would you like to make a motion? Yeah, I move adoption. All right, I'll second that. Uh, ordinance 2020-46 has been moved by Council Mayor Martin, seconded by myself. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Ordinance 2020-46 passes unanimously. Moving on to 10D, Ordinance 2020-47, a bill for an ordinance conditionally approving the vacation of a pedestrian trail easement associated with the 110 Emory Minor subdivision plat and site plan generally located south of 2nd Avenue and east of Emory Street. So I'll move Ordinance 2020-47. Second. I'll second. Uh, move up. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, Ordinance 2020-47 passes unanimously. 10E, Ordinance 2020-48, a bill for an ordinance amending section 15.03.080 of the Longmont Municipal Code on Zoning Districts, Measurements and Exceptions. We we'll move approval of Ordinance 2020-48. Second. 
All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, the motion passes unanimously. 10F ordinance 2020-49, <laughs> a bill for an ordinance approving the concept plan amendment for the bond farm rezoning and annexation agreement located at 1313 Spruce Street. I will move ordinance 2020-49. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Myself and Councilman Martin seconded it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, ordinance 2020-49 passes unanimously. All right, let's move on to the items that we pulled from the consent agenda. A, I believe, and G were it. This is a uh, uh, additional appropriations ordinance for 2020, and it concerns the Windy Gap firming project. I'll move ordinance 2020-51. Second. All right, it's been moved by myself, seconded by Councilor Martin. All in favor of ordinance 2020-51, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, uh, that ordinance 2020-51 passes unanimously. Polly, you are at Councilmember Christensen. Uh, let's move on to 10G, ordinance 2020-57, a bill for an ordinance amending chapter 11 of the, uh, yeah, junk or abandoned vehicles. 9G, approving on first reading ordinance 2020-57, a bill for an ordinance amending chapter 11 of the Longmont Municipal Code on vehicles abandoned, kept on public property or jumped or jumped. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for November 10th, 2020. So we will have the chance to talk about this again. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. 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 All right, the motion carries four to three with myself, Councilmember Waters, Councilmember Hidalgo Faring, and Mayor Pro Tem Rodriguez for our general business. I'm gonna move that we recess as the Longmont City Council and convene as the Board of Directors, the Longmont General Improvement District number one. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Aye. All right, the motion carries. We are now acting as the Longmont City, uh, not, no longer as the Longmont City Council, but as the Board of Directors, the Longmont General Improvement District number one. Resolution LGID 2020-05, a resolution fixing and levying taxes on the real and personal property within the Longmont General Improvement District number one for the year 2020 to pay budget expenses the district for the 2021 fiscal year. I will move resolution LGID 2020-05. Second. All in favor uh, of resolution LGID 2020-05, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, the, motion, the resolution carries unanimously. I'm going to move that we adjourn as the Longmont General Improvement District Number One Board of Directors and reconvene as the Longmont City Council. All right, the, that uh, motion carries unanimously. All right, well, we will cl close final call. Public invited to be heard and move on to Mayor and Council comments. Councilmember Bivago Faring. I want to make a personal apology to our staff and residents who um, listened in last week to the um, presentation, um, and it was primarily directed towards our. Um, staff and residents who are of the Jewish community for a comment made by one of the presenters on the energy management metering architecture. Uh, it was pretty jolting to me and it was offensive. And so, what you know, I, I regret that I didn't interject immediately to call things out, um, to call the, out these offensive comments as I hear them. Thanks Susie, first of all, well, for um, bringing that up. Um, in the last decade, but especially the last three years, um, anti-Semitism and all sorts of hate groups and militias have gotten a lot of publicity and um, a lot of people have been killed and, uh, you know, synagogues attacked and it's uh, unbelievable to see this rising up again and it's all kinds of groups. So uh, it's important to point it out. A little good news, uh, uh, um, Alfalfa's is opening up, brought 70 jobs to this town and uh, they open up on Friday, I think. Go visit and uh, be happy we've got a few more jobs here. Thanks. Thank you, Mayor Bagley. And with all due respect, I feel that it is unseemly um, to have our mayor make statements about being bored with all this AMI stuff. It is a point of serious contention among the people of the city. It is something that is extremely important to another constituency that we heard from tonight, 
And it's something that our LPC staff is working extremely hard on. And I think that we should consider it with the uh, seriousness that it deserves. Um, I'm not saying that I was bored with the topic. I'm not saying it's unnecessary. I'm just saying that oftentimes this council gets bogged down in minutia that most of us do not understand. I move that we adjourn the meeting. All right, the motion carries unanimously. Love you, Marsha.